It's not called the wet tropics for nothing. But this is absolutely drenched. Here we are on the Barren River Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. The other side, rage and thunder. From Cooktown to Cairns to Cardwell, the rain has been relentless. 21 gauges already that have received over a metre of rain within the last seven days. The rivers have responded, rising to major flood levels and sweeping livestock away. That'll be one tired cow. Cairns Northern Beaches district is awash. Residents were told to move to higher ground. Yep. Welcome to the wet season. And yes, it's deep. People have had water inside their homes. Uh, there's reports of anywhere from 300 millimetres to 500 millimetres of water in, inside uh, low-set homes. 37 people are sheltering in evacuation centres. So this is very serious and it could get worse. The council's flood cameras show bridges have gone under, roads have been cut or cracked wide open. This is the worst we've seen it in years. Cairns Airport is now closed, disrupting holiday plans. It was also very annoying because I was excited to go see my nana. And stranding travellers. We got to the airport and then everything's cancelled, so we're in line going back to Cairns. Cairns is an island with roads cut in every direction. It's a similar situation in towns across the north. We're used to our dumping rain here in the wet season, but even locals say they've never seen anything like this. In Innisfail, homes in low-lying areas are going under. We've uh, undertaken a number of rescues in the last 24 hours. Um, where water has risen that rapidly that people haven't been able to, to get out. Further south in Ingham, businesses are preparing as the waters rise. It's better to be safe than sorry, as they always say. Swift water rescue crews are on high alert. Everyone's calm and uh, yeah, we're just thankful that we've got a, a good community who knows what they're doing and are well prepared. They'll need to be because there's more rain to come. There's a very high likelihood that we will continue to see high rainfall rates over the next 24 hours. So we really need people to stay up to date with those warnings. This is life-threatening events. We do not need people to be out and about. The rain's expected to ease on Tuesday. And Christy Sexton McGrath joins me now. Christy, the situation's going to get worse before it can get better. What kind of night are residents facing? Well, good evening, Jess. Cairns is an island tonight, like many other cities across the north. The region has recorded hundreds of millimetres of rain over the past 24 hours, and it shows no signs of abating. River levels for the Barren River, which winds through Cairns, is now at a record high above the March 1977 flood record. Planes have been submerged at the Cairns airport. Floodwaters have surrounded the Mossman Hospital. SES and Swift Water Rescue crews have been evacuating residents from Holloway's Beach and Machen's Beach. We've even seen people stuck on a roof in the middle of Cape York, hundreds of kilometres of where I am here in the Cairns CBD. Cairns is down to critical levels for treated water. The council is now urging residents to conserve any water that they can. Roads are disintegrating. Towns to the west of Cairns on the Atherton Tablelands have received an enormous amount of rain. Now that water has to go somewhere to the already heavily saturated water systems here in Cairns. Uh, Titaru Dan to the west of Cairns is already starting to spill. Again, that will send more water into already flooded catchments. Jess, I'm a long time local. We are used to uh, counting our rainfall in metres in the wet season, but I've certainly never seen anything like this and, and nor have many other long-term like locals. Jess? Yeah, incredible scenes, Christy. Thank you so much. Now to Jenny Woodward. And Jenny, the rainfall numbers have been phenomenal. Oh, Jess, I have been doing this for a long time and I've never seen anything like it either. Here we are five days after a cyclone crossing and the rainfall's been relentless with intense falls over a broad area. We've seen widespread falls of 200 to 500 millimetres and more in the 24 hours to 9am. Black Mountain had 582, bringing their five-day total to almost 1.5 metres of rain, while Minaval had 566, Myola 500 
113. There's been 309 in Cairns at the airport and 360, uh, 336 at the Innisfail Aerodrome. Now the remains of ex-tropical cyclone Jasper has stalled over the peninsula so the rain and storms just keep coming. It's a very dangerous situation with intense rainfall and potentially life-threatening flash flooding continuing and there's no change expected for at least the next 6 to 12 hours. So the severe weather warning persists from the Dane trees down to Tully and then west to about Croydon and Dunbar. And there's major flooding across the region too. The Barren River has reached a record new high. And at this stage the low could drift northwest and make it into the Gulf tomorrow or Tuesday, but there's still a lot of uncertainty about how it will behave over the coming week.